It's Flock Ravens Nation, man. What's good, y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? Uh, I want to clarify. Shouts out to Tanja Bowman, too. I'm, I'm going to make another video on uh, a lot that you spoke on. But I'm going to try to tackle some of it if I can in, in this video, too. But, you know, it seems to be... seems to me it's an all out smear campaign on Lamar uh, specifically uh, to prevent him from being the highest paid QB in the NFL uh, by the by, by reasons of uh, the market right now and, and what he has accomplished among his, his QB uh, class. Kyle and Kyle Hurd tried to um, clarify Bernard Pollard's statements by saying, oh, well, the receivers know if they want to get paid, they got to uh, play against the greats. No. No. That's a that's a half true statement. Uh receivers that want to get paid know they're not gonna get it from the Ravens because Lamar is uh again the weapon X. You feel me? Everything is predicated on Lamar. A lot of these QBs, they need a, 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 a elite star wide receiver to, to do any or have any success, you know? They tried to and them <laughs> was weird he brought up Hollywood as other people did too Hollywood he even left Hollywood left because he know damn well we wasn't going to pay him no damn top wide receiver money a lot what a lot of these receivers why what it's it like it's inflated Terry McLaurin is not that nice I'm sorry but look what uh, Washington did. Because they don't have a QB. They don't have a Lamar Jackson. They don't. So he's the best thing they have going for them. With whatever QB they're going to have starting between Heineke and, and Wentz. You know? It's crazy. It was weird because when Lamar responded to uh, Hollywood, he put more emojis on, on Clown and Bernard Pod than he did for Hollywood. That's just me. That's just me. I don't. I don't think. I think Lamar feels what other people say about that situation too. Like you jump ship. How can you? You know what I'm saying? You, you, you up and quit on me, dog. But, uh, okay, I wanted to clarify my statements with um, with how I was trying to say uh, Lamar need to keep off uh, Twitter. He can do what he want to do. He, he can be on that joint and don't say nothing just be looking or laughing or, or like he been doing response. It don't make me no never mind. But I'm just saying it just because I know uh, realistically it is purposely uh, being done so they can get a reaction out of him. So they can sit there and bait him and be like Oh, look what he doing. How, how, look, look, this is the character he really has. You know what I'm saying? A little, little stupid stuff. A little 
little little girl stuff like you should know this though and that's what all I was trying to say that's all I was trying to say man cause he ended up apologizing you didn't even gotta do all that bro you ain't even gotta do all that man All he had to do, I, I, I'm not in his shoes. I'm not, I'm not Lamar Jackson. I'm not in his shoes. But a uh, 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 clear laughing emoji response to what he said would have been would have been enough. You know what I'm saying? But check this out. It's it's also crazy to me how one minute they want to talk big about Joe Burrow, right? But the Cincinnati Bengals ain't paying no damn, ain't paying no uh, wide receiver. They got, they had two up and coming wide receivers that helped him elevate his game. So why ain't nobody speaking on that? Why is nobody talking about that aspect of it? Because that's what the Ravens is going to do. We want Lamar to be the highest paid. How the fuck? I've been saying this. How, how are we going to pay for a top wide receiver? How? If you have your quarterback. Yo, this ain't no Joe Flacco contract. <laughs> this ain't no uh, 150 million contract. We really got to invest. We really about to invest in, in, in the, the most prolific uh, one of a one of a kind quarterback ever seen in NFL history. You know what I'm saying? So how how are you fitting that? into the budget of oh, a, a, a high paid wide receiver and again desperation is not a good thing man or doing things or, or buying things out of desperation being hasty uh well what is it If we had an opportunity to get somebody, I'm not saying don't do it. What I'm saying is our franchise has not had a consistent success in uh, free agent wide receivers or getting production from them because of cap space. And this is before Lamar. So while all of a sudden with something like that just hit a switch and just has start to happen. Maybe we ain't just being smart now. Maybe they just being logic now. Like, you know what? That's not our strong suit. Let's just focus on different areas right now. And, and we'll try to draft and, and create a, a, a competitive group. You know what I'm saying? Hung, hungry individuals. And another thing, again, who's to say just because you got an elite star wide receiver that you're going to have success in the NFL? Who are we trying? What are we trying to accomplish here? Are we trying to win a Super Bowl? Or are we trying to always be in a conversation of what who, who, what media likes, what media wants us to have? You feel me? Because again, how the fuck Joe Burrow get to the damn playoffs? With just his receivers. They was all they was not star wide receivers yet. They was not proven wide receivers. They weren't. So I, again, I don't understand the hate on why the, the players who we got when when Joe Burrow and them did not have proven receivers. He didn't. And speaking of, 
why it ain't why it ain't being discussed with Trevor Lawrence? Why it's not being discussed how he how he really trash? Why it's not being discussed on on this this is why I don't I don't believe no other team is going is going to go as hard as the Ravens do. Not saying they're going hard, but I don't believe any other NFL team would care uh, as much as the Ravens do in regards to Lamar fan base and all. Because Seattle, I don't, nobody talks about it often, but Seattle got rid of their QB, uh, who was black, uh, who won them a Super Bowl, and Russell Wilson. If there was no Lamar Jackson, you can't sit there and tell me you wouldn't take Russell Wilson as your QB. So I don't understand why why that's like a move that was just like, oh, okay. From a uh, media, at least. But anyway, back to Trevor Lawrence, like, he's done nothing. Josh Daniels, he's done nothing. Carson Wentz, he's done nothing. Deshaun Watson, he's done nothing. How was he consistently still being in the top 10 and he had a shitty season? He had a worse season than Lamar ever did. How was he in the top 10? It's just an all-out BS smear campaign. They're trying to... Uh, mess up Lamar contract numbers and, and, and mess up perception and, and mess up the numbers, but it's not going to happen. Ben said J.K. Dobbins is coming back. We're going to have a crazy running back room. Switch up. 
because they had a chance to get them. Why would any one of them teams switch up just to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to treat him better than y'all did? No, they didn't believe in him. We did. And I believe the Mar uh, uh, appreciated that. And he going to always be with us because of that. You know what I'm saying? So that's just to squash all that trade stuff and all this and that at Miami. And, no. Miami passed on Lamar too. It's crazy though how they don't talk about, speaking of Miami, how they don't talk about how Tyreek Hill, he literally came out and said, Mahomes wasn't that good. So are we taking his word too? We took Hollywood's word. Are y'all taking uh, uh, Tyreek Hill word? He said, "Back ain't throw no ball, ain't throw no good balls like that." say moving the goalposts anymore it's, it, it's like damned if you do damned if you don't that's why it's important Lamar just be him and play his game man cause it, it, it ain't we all, as we all know it ain't gonna never stop man it ain't gonna never stop he can't throw from the pocket yet had MVP. How the fuck he get MVP? Oh, he ran. No, he didn't. It, it, it wasn't it was designed run plays 24-7. He passed. Even just last year, he passed. He definitely was passing. Definitely was zipping it through motherfuckers' ears. Right past their helmet. What do you mean? I seen a game. When was it? Denver, I forget what playoff game it was. I could not remember, yo. But it was definitely Denver Broncos when they still had Peyton. Peyton threw a short 10-yard pass. He's like, did you see that zip on that ball? Did you see that zip on that ball? Oh, Peyton, he still got it. But Lamar can't throw deep passes. But, but, but y'all be on uh, uh, Peyton Nutsack over a 10-yard zip pass. They just don't like Lamar. That's all it is. They don't like Lamar. Oh, say shop. See, 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 skip. They don't know about Shay Shop. Shay Shop room. See, old Shay Shop, I'm going I'm to tell you how I want to tell you. Because Boss Man says so. Shouts out the top villain because that's definitely how he act. Just ignorant. Just as ignorant as he want to be. It's no way. John John Elway wasn't this good at 25, bro. None of them. Oh, that style of play can't win. What the fuck was Steve Young doing? Running outside the pocket? What the fuck was Brett Favre doing? Running outside the pocket? What do you mean? Not one time do they ever talk about coaching you know, though on some real shit, which is crazy to me. Not one time do they get on coaching ass, yo. About how many times we done had offensive coordinator after offensive coordinator after offensive coordinator after offensive coordinator 
at the offensive coordinator under John. Biscotti. Shouts out to Tondra Bowman. Biscotti, if you got that money like that, dog. If you got money to where as though you sat there and said you could just throw it away, you want to give it away? I tell you what. Step your ass down. Right? Let somebody else take over that actually care about the fucking team right now. that's going to make some real decisions for the fucking team right now. Because there's no reason John should be in a situation, like you said, where he isn't in a lame duck situation. His ass should, should, be, on, should be on ice. His ass should be on ice. He should have been going when Lamar was drafted. But I get it, you know. You just can't spring moves like that unless you, you had somebody in mind to, to uh, take over. But the way things are looking right now, I mean, what's wrong with Keith Martin and T. Higgins uh, somebody being promoted to offensive coordinator and somebody being promoted to head coach. What is wrong with that? It's foreshadowing. That would be very interesting. Uh, Justin Houston comes back to the team. I'm not surprised by that. I don't know if I spoke on this already, but I'm not surprised by that because, uh, again, Owe was definitely speaking highly of uh, Houston at, on the Studio 44, so I, I, I guess that's a good thing. I, I really wanted JPP, but I don't, I don't know if we're going to get him at this point. Um uh, Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really tripping off of uh, the these rankings that they're doing on Lamar. It's it's all again blatant lies and BS, just so they can uh, say he don't deserve his money. You know what I'm saying? Smear campaign. What it, it is, what it is. We know why it is. What it is what it is. But you know, there's no need to to feed into that shit, yo. It's really not. I'm glad Lamar apologized, but you ain't even got to apologize, bro. If you just ignore that shit, uh, it's easier said than done. I'm, I'm, I'm not denying that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I have my moments when I be hearing some of these YouTube channels, and I be like, I want to say something, but I don't. It's like it's not even worth it. You know what I'm saying? So I try to keep it, keep it to a high heat, a shit, or, or uh, just being a fan and shit. But you know. Whatever. But, uh... Shouts out to Lamar Jackson. Shouts out to the Ravens. I think we're going to have a major big year this year. Um, man, I don't know. I don't know, but... I feel like we can get a job go back this year. I feel like he could he could come come by late late December. He could be back now, whether they risk it or not. But I think he, I think he'll be ready. I do. Uh, again, I've been saying this. I'm gonna keep saying this till it happens. Uh, Ronnie Stanley needs to restructure severely. 
Marlon Humphrey need the restructure. That's just me. That's just me. Move some money around. Uh, give an extension to MP. Uh, I mean, they paid Patrick Ricard. I really don't understand that one still, but... Um, yeah, man. Shouts out to the Ravens. Shouts out to the Ravens flock. Shouts out to my subscribers, man. Uh, it's great to be rapping back again with y'all, man. Uh, I might have something this week for y'all. I might have something this week for y'all. Just facts. I might, I might just come with like. Lamar Appreciation Week, you feel me? Uh, after all the hate, so I'm gonna holla at y'all in the next one, man. Ravens fly, Ravens Nation, man. I'm out, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all protect y'all energies, man. Protect y'all health. Uh, protect y'all self. Uh, and I hope y'all have a good day. Uh, Just not, not just for Lamar, for me as well, for y'all as well, man. Try to stay above the hate, man. It's, it's a lot of it going around. Stop. Try to stay above the hate, yo, for real. I'll holler at y'all in the next one.